Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So for dinner tonight, I am making an oldie but goodie in our house. It starts out with thin crust, um, refrigerated pizza crust that I already have spread out on my pan here. And I have some parchment paper underneath it. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box so you guys can check it out. But this is probably one of Howard's favorite recipes. And I've started out just by putting some pizza sauce on the crust. And I go light on the pizza sauce because I don't want my crust to get all soggy. And plus we dip our stromboli in additional pizza sauce, so it's okay if there's not a ton on the crust. It works for us. So again, like I said, I go really light on the pizza sauce, and that's a personal preference just because I don't like a soggy crust. So after you put on the pizza sauce, the next thing you're gonna do is lay out your pepperoni. And I am using this Hormel pepperoni. Next, I'm gonna add my Italian sausage. I had some frozen cooked Italian sausage, so I'm using that. I didn't have quite enough, so I had to cook up some more. But here's some of the Italian sausage, and let me add in the other Italian sausage. And next, I'm gonna add on my cheese. I have some mozzarella. I know it says the expiration date was June, but this was in my freezer. So I'm just gonna add mozzarella. And I also have some Parmesan that I needed to use that was in my freezer, so um, in my fridge, excuse me. So I'm going to add that too. So the next thing you're gonna do is just roll this up as best as you can, jelly roll style. So the easiest way to do it is to grab your parchment paper and fold it over. So I've got it all tucked in here, and then you're just gonna take a knife and just cut some slits so that it can breathe while it is cooking. All right, so I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. So here's a stromboli. I baked it for 20 minutes, and then I let it cool for about 10 minutes. Here's the marinara sauce. Uh, actually, it's the pizza sauce that I'm serving with it. Let me move it so you guys can see a little bit better. And so you can see all the cheesy goodness, the Italian sausage and the pepperoni. It is so good. As I mentioned, it's one of Howard's favorite meals and it's really easy to make. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some burgers for us. And so this is his plate. He's got a slice of cheese, a bunch of avocado, and he has mayo on his uh, bun. And then we are both having spicy nacho Doritos. This is my plate. I'm a plain Jane when it comes to burgers, but I did want something on it and I'm not a big fan of ketchup, but I do like barbecue sauce. So I just used a little bit of that and put a little schmear on there. Um, I didn't feel like making any bacon because normally I would prefer a bacon cheeseburger. I did grill and butter both of our buns, so got that on there. And of course I'm having the chips too, and just in case you don't know what the Doritos looks, looks like, these are um, what we're eating, spicy nachos. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making skillet stroganoff, and I made this one time before, and Howard and I really like it. I love stroganoff, and I especially love a one skillet meal. I'll make sure to leave the directions in the description box. But in my skillet, I've got a pound of lean ground beef, um, one chopped onion, and then I seasoned the meat mixture with onion powder and garlic powder. No salt because we're trying to watch our salt intake. And plus I'm gonna be adding beef um, broth in and 
So that'll have enough salt for us. So I just added in some sour cream and I have a can of mushroom soup that I'm going to add in. And I'm just gonna stir this for a second. And I'm going to add in my beef broth. And actually this is uh, water with beef bouillon. And now I'm going to add some water. And I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit. And I'm going to add in my wide egg noodles. So the directions say to incorporate the noodles and then cover and let it cook on a medium heat for about 20 minutes or so or until the egg noodles are cooked through. Okay, so here is the stroganoff. I misspoke earlier when I said that um, the recipe said to cook the stroganoff for 20 minutes. It's actually 10 minutes. The egg noodles cook pretty quickly. And I will tell you, even though it looks like there's not enough liquid in the pan, um, it absolutely works out fine. As you can see right here, um, it's really good. To me, it reminds me of hamburger helper stroganoff, but to me, this is way, way better. It's so good. And then with it, I'm just serving it with some frozen corn that I had in my freezer that I needed to use up. I'm gonna add some butter, salt, and pepper as soon as I get to the table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, so I tried a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called Hidden Valley Broiled Fish. Howard and I are not big fish people, but I am trying to you know, make fish more. Um, and so here is the picture of the fish. And so here is my fish. Um, it tastes okay. It has a really mild flavor. I mean, you really can't taste the ranch very well at all. You do taste the lemon a little bit more than the fish. Um, I would probably try it again, but I would play around with the measurements a little bit more so that I can taste the ranch a little bit better. So we're having that. I also made some pastaroni, Parmesan cheese. And here is the box. This is what I used. And then I just stir fried some green beans from Trader Joe's. These are my favorite frozen green beans. Extra fine and it's uh, one pound, eight ounces. I used about half of a bag. And then I just stir fried these in olive oil, garlic, and then onion salt. So this is, oh, and by the way, I did find this recipe online as well, so I'll make sure to link it in the description box for you guys. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called French onion chicken and rice bake. So it calls for two cups of chicken, which I like to cook up chicken when I have free time and shred it and separate it and put it in my freezer. So in here I have two cups of boneless skinless chicken thighs. And then I'm adding in four cups of cooked rice. Um, so I cooked my rice um, yesterday because I wanted it to get firm. I do the same thing when I make fried rice. To me, it just does better. Um, so I have four cups of rice in here. And then I am adding one cup of, um, what is it called? Sour French onion dip, refrigerated French onion dip, the sour cream based dip, adding that in. And then I am adding in a can of cream of chicken soup. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. And I'm going to add in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir. 
Okay, so I have my greased pan here and I'm using an 11 by seven pan. The recipe calls for um, a nine by 13, but I, I think this will work. So I'm gonna use this. And I forgot to mention that the recipe also called for chicken broth. So I did add in some chicken broth as well. Okay, I'm just gonna spread this out and I'm just going to top it with some French fried onions. And I'm going to bake this at 350 for about half an hour. Okay, so here is the casserole. I did bake it for half an hour. Howard and I tried it and we both like it. It's really tasty. I would definitely make it again. I would probably add more cheese next time because I do like cheese. So. Um, having leftover green beans with it from the other night and then I just made some breadsticks and these are the breadsticks that I use they are from Tom Thumb which is a grocery store around here it's their brand the signature select so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time